Good morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. It is day 44 of 100 days, 100 videos, 200 questions. And yes, we've got captions now. I'm actually doing this on my computer with hopes that I can convert it to the app and add captions. And we will see, because before I could just do it on my phone. But my three-year-old has my phone right now, so I'm trying to get some work done, including this video. Hi, Future Whitney here. We don't have captions because that video was too long and I couldn't put it into my captions app without breaking into three parts that I couldn't figure out how to share between my phone and my computer. Uh, maybe I will one day, but today is not the day and it's too late and I'm going to miss my deadline if I keep working on it. So, sorry, captionless video today. You'll get back to captions tomorrow, I promise. Um, kind of an exciting 24 hours. So, first of all, I hit my big financial goal. So, insert applause here. And um, I'm in the championship for my fantasy football league which, <laughs> sorry boys, we've been doing it for a decade. You can't compete. I don't know. I just got that, I got that research swagger that can't, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't go into that. I'm just really good at research, so it works out for me. And last night I was really, oh, look at that ring light. Ooh. I was really concerned because I don't really have a quarterback. I have been shuffling quarterbacks like I'm the Cleveland Browns or the Jets all year long. Um, but for the last three weeks, I've been playing Flacco from the Browns. Um, and he has been showing up. But this week, he played on Thursday night. He's going against the Jets, who they're the one and two top defenses. And so I was really scared about playing Flacco because I'm like, if any game he's not going to show up in, it's going to be this game. The game where he's playing against his old team. Kind of. <laughs> um, they kind of like did him dirty. Uh, and they're a really good defense. But my boy Flacco, he turned it up. Browns won. He scored 27 fantasy points, which was twice as much as he was anticipated to score, which keeps me in the grace. Um, I don't know if I'm going to win. It's too early and too close to call, but at least I don't feel quite as lost. And I've been asking the universe, just one more game. Just one more game for the last eight games. <laughs> so far, the universe has provided. Um, yeah. And also, I hit the goal. The goal I was talking about yesterday, my financial goal. I was $300 away from. I hit it. I actually hit it. Um, I think I ended up making about $1,000. Something like that. I don't know. It's it's still coming in. Um, so, yeah. Yay. My goal was to uh, just to avoid specifics um, on the YouTube I wanted to give myself a 17% raise over last year. Um, and I did it. I did it with a couple of days to spare. So I'm pretty excited about that. Pretty excited. Where's my bag? Uh, and now we now we just celebrate by going to Chuck E. Cheese tonight with my kids. Um, okay, what's today's question? How has confidence impacted your career? So this is kind of a twofold question. Uh, because my career has had many different facets. And I was actually thinking about this a little bit last night in kind of like a negative way, which I know sounds terrible to say, but um, I don't know where I was going with this. Sorry, I'm putting up ChatGPT before I forget. Um, so my first job out of college, and I won't even go to all the jobs I had before I graduated college because that's just too many. Um, my first job out of college was a management trainee at an enterprise rental car. And I, I frequently call it the worst year of my life. And that still stands. But I do think it's the fact that I had that experience at enterprise that allowed me to work in corporate America in the finance department for 10 years. Because <laughs> I was like, could be worse. I know it. Um, but at enterprise, you don't get paid very well. You have terrible working conditions. Um, it's very competitive. It's, it's just everything bad to me. Um, and so at the time, I had student loans, I had a car payment, I had rent, I had all these things that I had to pay, credit cards, and I 
was like down to eating like a I always say like a can of olives at lunch because that's all I could afford at the time. Now olives are probably would have been outside my price range because everything is so expensive now. But back then that's what I would do. Um, and so around Christmas time, my branch manager said gave like a competition. He said whoever can sell the most insurance today on Christmas Eve or the day whatever day it was, I'm gonna give you a fifty dollar gift card. And I was like. I'm getting that gift card because it's Christmas. I haven't gotten anyone gifts. I just want to get myself real groceries for Christmas. At the time, I couldn't even go home for Christmas, which was two hours away because I didn't have the money for gas to get me home and back. Um, Yeah, so it was a rough time. And so I went in and I was like, I'm getting this gift card. I am going to sell my butt off. And I keep sorry if you can hear all of that. It's like dinging. Um, And I did. And I turned on the charm and I turned on the charisma and I turned on the confidence and I sold, but I felt like garbage because A, I was doing it for a very selfish reason because I don't really necessarily believe in all of the insurance that the rental car companies sell. I don't think a lot of people need it, especially for trips uh, in certain cases. Now I get it sometimes. Sometimes I don't want to worry about it. If I'm going for a weekend trip and I'm going to get a car, yeah. Throw it on there. I don't want to worry about this car that I don't own. But in some cases, it's just not worth it. But anyway, so that was the one that was one time that I was like, I could be a sleazy salesperson if I wanted to. I do have it in my brain. I just don't have it in my heart or like the rest of my body because I felt gross after that. Um, and I never did it again. Even if we had more competitions, I was like, I would rather continue to eat my olives than feel like I am doing a disservice to these people. Um, And I could sell it ethically if I felt like it made sense, but sometimes it didn't. Um, Okay, and so if we go into finance, my corporate career, uh, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I didn't like what I was doing, and so I didn't have the motivation to get better at it. And so I just kind of hung out at that level of competence where I was never going to be like a top performer, but I also was like, I did enough to not get fired. And so I never got really good enough to feel super confident and it showed and I didn't care. Um, And I don't think apathy breeds confidence. Um, So there I didn't have confidence in my work, but I had confidence in my social skills. I had confidence that I was like making friends there and I probably wasn't going to get fired. Um, And I didn't. I eventually quit. Uh, I did get fired from Enterprise though. That's another day, another story. Um, Maybe I already said it. I don't even remember. Um, and then now in copywriting, I have seen not having confidence versus having confidence because I had a retainer client where I just, like, I think I said before, like I just disappeared. I just didn't feel confident. It was really early in my career and I was just sort of like what you could call the equivalent in the finance world would be like a button pusher. Like they would feed me assignments. I would do them. I wouldn't know if they were any good and I wouldn't ask because I was too scared. Now I realize that like the authenticity that comes with confidence of being like, I know I can write, but I also have the confidence and the recognition and the, just the self-awareness that I know I'm not the best in the world. So tell me how I can make it better. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to be open and confident enough to take your feedback, even if it's harsh and allow it to turn me into a better writer. So that is sort of, how confidence has affected me in my job. And let's move on to our New, Year, New, Year's, Eve, New, Year's, Eve, New Year's question. Okay. Uh, we are on number five. How do you plan to celebrate New Year's Eve and what makes the celebration special for you? So New Year's Eve is my mom's birthday. So we are going to go out to lunch, a late lunch at a hibachi steakhouse, Japanese steakhouse, uh, which is for her and for my seven-year-old and for me because I love hibachi steakhouse. But my mom, my dad's a very picky eater, so she doesn't get to go out very much at all. When she does go out, it tends to be to, like, the Applebee's kind of spot. So when I asked her if she wanted to come to this lunch, uh, because we were like, well, let's do a lunch for New Year's. Do something, you know, something easy. Um, She was like, yes, immediately, immediately, yes. So it turned it into the entire family going, my sisters, their husband slash fiance, their child, um, my dad is going to come. He's probably going to get rice and steak. Uh, and obviously my family. So it, it turned from what I thought was going to be five people maybe 
to 11 people. Uh, but I'm excited. So that's what we're going to do during the day. And then at night, honestly, we got like a little kit with a hat with hats and like noisemakers and things. And we'll probably just do, you know, like we'll celebrate New Year's at like 10 p.m., get the girls to bed and then probably just do our own thing. I don't think we're really going to just celebrate. But that's what happens when you have like young kids. You don't do that much. You just sort of make it a thing. Maybe we'll find it's probably a little late, but maybe we'll do some sort of New Year's Eve thing. Um, but because our lunch isn't until two. But yeah, those are the whole plans. Nothing too crazy. Um, I could use a little bit of a break. So I'm excited to just relax and not have to worry about work for 48 hours. So, yep, that's all I got for today. Today is day 44 of 100 days, 100 questions. I keep doing that. 100 days, 100 videos, 200 questions. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I figure out how to add captions to this one, like the last video, or else I'm going to be doing them all on my phone. Um, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.